Hi everyone, welcome to 810 Adventures. It's been a crazy travel day and we've almost made it out of Iowa. Woo! The good life. All right. I found out the hard way that you cannot leave the Rode mic plugged into the GoPro without turning it on. I thought it would just use the GoPro mic instead. So, long story short, there are tons of clips lacking audio. I hope you enjoy my first voiceover. We arrived in North Platte, Nebraska, just before 7 p.m. on Friday, September 2nd, after driving from Amana, Iowa. We stayed at the Golden Spike Tower and Visitor Center. There were two other travelers in RVs there when we arrived. We had plenty of space to get parked and to enjoy our space for the night and most of the next morning. The girls had tons of grass to run around and play in and let off some steam from the long travel day. We were in no hurry to leave Golden Spike on Saturday morning because the next harvest host we had planned was less than 300 miles away and our only stipulation was to arrive before dark. We went up into the tower to check out the rail yard from above. What a fantastic experience. The first level of the tower had an open air balcony and the level above that was enclosed with windows and had tons of history about the site. They even had a wooden train the girls played on after viewing from above. We had an amazing stay at the largest rail yard in the world, also known as the Union Pacific Bailey Yard. We also learned that a lot of the workers in the visitor center are actual volunteers and work for, for Union Pacific. Colorado, driving down the road, smelled something weird, exhaust from our generators flew off on the highway. Sucks. Before I said that we don't have a dash as we're driving our RV, but guess what we did instead? We got that RV GPS Garmin just posted up. We're 209B. Okay, 209B. West 6th Avenue. All right. A lot to watch. <laughs> Watching these people, watch them on the beer. Yeah. So we're going to scout through all the way around Denver and then we're, we're in okay. Denver, but we're in like outskirts. Yeah. Okay. We finally made it to Front Range Inn just outside Denver in Lakewood, Colorado. Another very easy harvest hose, plenty of room to park and unhook. I explained the exhaust from the generator situation a bit more. We ran it over with the back tires and it flung up into the tow setup and ruined the six way cable. Thankfully, we had a spare and could swap it out without an issue on the side of the highway and continue on. After the pipe ruined the cable, it came up and smacked the bumper cover on the Jeep and put a decent sized hole in it. No big deal, though. Bumper cover is just replaceable, not even a big deal. 
Thankfully, there was no major damage to any of our vehicles or equipment. We took the Jeep out to meet with some friends at Buffalo Wild Wings and had a great time Saturday night. All right, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. We had an amazing evening meeting Kaylee, Chris, and John. So happy that we're here in Colorado. I love mountain time when I'm in it. We stayed at the Front Range Inn and there's some beautiful mountains back there. I'll take some pictures. So happy to be here in Colorado. Headed over to Gunnison. From there, we drove through Colorado all the way over to Gunnison, which means we had to drive through the Rocky Mountains and you'll see the clips of footage from the RV as we drove there. We ended up staying at the Walmart in Gunnison overnight. They do allow overnight parking and camping, not camping. They do allow overnight parking as long as you go into the Walmart and let them know that you're going to do so and give them your license plate numbers. That made us both feel much better about the situation rather than just parking somewhere and hoping you don't get in trouble. The next morning was Monday, which was Labor Day. Our plans were to, there was a gas station right next to the Walmart. Our plans were to fill up with fuel and then head over to Blue Mesa Recreational Ranch for our, our two week stay. We unhooked the Jeep at Walmart so that we could get positioned well in, in the parking lot on the outsides. So, so Monday morning, Labor Day, the plan was to use the Jeep to block out some spots at the pumps so that Kevin could get right behind me and pump the fuel and then we can get on the road. That turned into a crap show when after fueling up, the rig would not start. So here we are at a small gas station, unable to move. I ended up calling Freightliner, getting on the phone on Labor Day with a, a tech and he walked us through some stuff and you know we ended up realizing that it wasn't fully in neutral or maybe it was in between, but that's something that's not easy to see when we do not have a dash. So what a stressful day, but we ended up getting to our campground very easily. Beautiful scenic drive, very easy check-in, easy to pull in and just park and wait. Cause I, this is the first thousand trails that I was able to use the Jeep and go scout out a spot, pick it, come back to the clubhouse, let them know and then have Kevin follow me there with the Jeep. I had cones to set up the spot perfectly where he, I marked off where I wanted him to be and he literally backed the rig in perfectly without an issue because he's an amazing driver and all that good stuff. We've really been loving the campground here and exploring every day. Almost every day after work, we take the Jeep and go, go off-roading and uh, we'll definitely come back. I hope you enjoyed this voiceover. Come on, girl. You already done it. You like this. Yep. I'm right here for you. It's a lot harder to breathe here. Yeah. Good it's job. fun, yeah. Wee. Good job, Allie. All right, we're out here. We made it to our campsite in Gunnison at the Thousand Trails. We got our groceries and now we're at the playground. Back to work tomorrow. Good morning. All right, we made it to Tuesday morning. It is currently 5 a.m. Mountain Time, which means it's 7 a.m. Eastern, which is the time that's zone that I work in. So I have about an hour or so before work starts. I'm already on my walk this morning. I'm at the adult pool, adult clubhouse, which has Wi-Fi that I've gotten connected to. Without that, we have zero cell service here in the Blue Mesa campground in Colorado, Gunnison, Colorado. So I'm gonna go finish my Pokemon walk and then get work started for today.
I didn't mean to scare the ducks, but. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning, time to go. Got that smile upon my face, cause there's excitement in the chase, this I know. Yeah, I'm going for the ride, and find myself I Hit him with the double thumb. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You How quiet it is? Yeah. Oh, that cow's looking. <laughs> <laughs> He's wondering what we're doing here. Yeah. God, that cow's not very happy with us. The one in the white. Bye, cow. Bye, other cow. Bye. Look at this one, Sky. Yeah, I'm the you okay, cow. I'm not gonna get you. Oh, wake up, heart, and wake up, mind. See, the world is yours to find. And oh, 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 with every passing day, there's more calling you out, out to explore. Get up and go. There is joy found in the race, and I feel it in the place where I.
peninsula out here. Every time we get out of work, we have to go exploring. See? See? Even Google says that we're in the water. Oh, and I'm living free, living free, living free, and I was meant to be. Living free, living free, living free, and I was meant to be. I'm living free, living free, living free, and I was meant to be free. Meant to be free. Oh wow. I'm so glad that we have a Jeep so that we can come down here and enjoy the peaceful nature and what used to be a bunch of water. This one? Yeah. That one stay on my leg. That one will stay on my arm. That one will stay on my arm. That's all I have for this video. You'll see me in the next one.